Hi, this is Cher from Cher's Crafting Boutique. I have had this picture frame for so long in a box, ready for a project, and I decided to pull it out today. Taking the glass out because I am wanting to make another black from that. As you've seen in a previous video, I've done an oval shaped one. This time I decided to do a square. I haven't done a square one before, so I thought this would be an opportunity to do this on camera. So the bits that I have here to make into a pin cushion is some fabric, a bit of lace, which is like a netting, and a piece of fabric. I've just made sure that I've got plenty to be able to gather it up and to make sure that once I put the stuffing in, this can actually come out a bit. So you don't need too much over, but you need enough, and more than likely you'll be cutting it down anyways. So just make sure you've got a good inch or so all the way around. <coughs> I also have my scissors, some polyester stuffing, some thin lace, gathered lace. Let's make sure I find that end ready. My protective finger and some pearls. And basically, that's it. You don't need a lot for this project really. Unless obviously you want to decorate it with little bits and pieces, but that's optional. So we we'll just open up the back here. Get that ready for sitting there. And I've got my hot glue as well. That's what I always do. What I'm going to do is just stick this lace to here. Using a thin amount. Obviously, when I cut it down, it will come untucked from here, but that's okay because. It's just to keep it in place for now. projects with. where it gets a little bit fiddly with this being on here and you can easily take it off because you are going to be gluing this down shot anyways but that's entirely up to you so I'm going to stick that down there once I've just done away with this edge
going to glue that to there. it down because you don't want the glue to stop you from getting from closing this the edge and I'm just gluing. Good to show you in this part because I've got to have it where I can see it at the same time and the bit of card that's flapping over is making it hard for me to show you. I think you get what I'm trying to do. Again, making sure you keep the middle pushed out because you don't want to not be able to feel, yes. feel this. it in the best that you can. This is going to go over here. So we're just pushing it all in there. This bit 
can get a bit complicated. I suppose complicated ain't the word I'm looking for, but you know. Just make sure you tuck all those bits in. Use your scissors if need be. Yes, honey? Can I help you? Oh, of course you can. Um, and push those edges in for me. Yeah. How? You grab the scissors and then just do that. Push, push, That's push, it. push. Push, push. That's it. Wait. Oh, we missed a bit, did we? Yeah. There's more right here. Oh, good girl. See, I would have missed that. You put it all the mouth. I know, I've got to glue it, darling. There. We get the hot glue in here. And that's what we're going to do. You just get your hot glue and run it on the fingers. inner. Yeah. Wait, you don't need a finger thing on. Run it on that edge and then push it down. Oh, you have to put the pinky thing on. I forgot to put it on, haven't I? Mm -hmm. We can't have that. Let's pop that on now before I end up hurting myself. Yeah. There's the other sauce. And there we are. <gasps> no way. That's the squishiest. Mm -hmm. You just push it around till you're happy with the way it looks. As you can see. It is sunflowers, aren't they? Yeah. Well, that's I know it's got all my stuffing in it, that's why. I'm going to pop that in there. Yeah, it is. Put that in there. There we are. I'm going to move this. You don't need to move. It's just like snow, isn't it? When you look at it, it's just not as cold. No, it just feels warm. Mm -hmm. Mum. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I'm going to stick this to the inner edge of the frame here. Dad. Starting in this corner. I'm going to put a thin amount because I don't want it to be too much on the fabric here. You having fun? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm too safe, I'm going to Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Do that tomorrow. some pieces here it's a bit fiddly but it's gonna be worth it I'm loving the way it looks so far oh, no. okay let's go on now Well, that's enthusiasm for you. <laughs> so I'm not gathering it this time because I want it to come up. I don't want it to lie flat because on the inner part anyway so it's not really going to lie flat whatever I do so
bring people like that, Kayla. What you like? <laughs> I bet you scared everybody on YouTube now who's watching. Mm -hmm. I bet they all jumped. Yeah, that is <laughs> Just cut that excess there and I'm just going to overlap this slightly. Running the glue around the edge here. I'm just securing it down. See, I love these because you can hang them up and get them off your desk. It takes up no space. Still store all those pins away and get them out of reach for the kids who go snooping and touching. My daughter's into everything in there because she wants to do the same as what I do. I can't buy her colouring books and pens so much anymore because she says the only, craft, the only thing she wants to do that's crafting is the same stuff as what I do. It's not the same. Even though I do colouring, she likes to do these bits. The same as me. So that's how it looks and I really love the way that looks. Check it out. done a tutorial on this yet. But this here is something I made a little while ago. And it has it has your pins inside which obviously you don't have to put that in there but this is um, pins in. It's 
it's got the pin cushion on the top here and you've got a piece of chalk and then the blackboard hot which I thought is a really good idea I really like it it works for me I will have to do a video on this one I think but it won't be today because I've got so much to do but yes I'll get that one done and now I'll show you yeah it works perfectly love that month I'm going to my first craft fair because I have so much of these things made up now I am running out of space to put them to be honest so I'm going to take them and see how it goes I just finished a Peter Rabbit book yesterday which I was fun making I will have to show you it on a video at some point I'm just gonna stick that there I think it just looks a little plain I'm just gonna stick that there Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also leave a comment if you like this video and a thumbs up. Um, I also have a Facebook page now called Shares Crafting Booty. It's where you post items that you've made yourself to inspire others. If that's something you're interested in taking part in, please come along and join in. Thank you for watching. Bye.